How to crochet a curly cue. For this stitch, you will need a crochet hook. Special thanks to our sponsor, Scassell, for providing today's hooks. Today, we are using their Addy Swing Ergonomic Crochet Hooks in the size US 8H. And a ball of yarn. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, double crochet. To begin this stitch, you must create a foundation chain in any number of stitches, plus three. Step one. Once we've created our foundation chain to the length that we want our curly cue to be, uh, and we've done our additional three stitches, we are going to do a double crochet into the fourth stitch in our chain. So we've got one, two, three, and we're going to go into the fourth chain stitch. Okay, so those four chains that we skipped, or the three that we skipped, is going to act as a double crochet. And then we've created another one. For step two, we're going to double crochet again into that same stitch. Now for step three, we are going to do three double crochets into the next chain stitch. All right, so now we're just going to repeat step three until we've worked each chain stitch in our foundation chain here all the way around. So I've worked quite a few stitches now with our three double crochets into each chain and you can see the curly cue is now beginning to form. And uh, once we get this done it'll be great as a little accent on, a, you can do it on a scarf or a blanket, um, you can use it as a bookmark. Uh, there's all kinds of cool little things that you could do with this. You could even connect it in the round and make it into a bracelet. Uh, so that's how we crochet the curly cue. Here's a look at the finished curly cue. Want more news today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.